In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can tame an unruly dimension line preview. Linear dimension in an ArchiCAD is very simple. However, the feedback that you see sometimes from the dimension line preview can appear a bit wild. So it's important to understand what's actually happening so you can tame it, control it, and get a better output. So the first thing we'll do is look at the geometry methods so you can understand what we're talking about. So I'll select the dimension tool. And the geometry methods are these two buttons here. The first one contains the XY only geometry method, the any direction geometry method, and then the second button is used for arc length dimensions, which is perfect if you want to show opening sizes and curved walls, etc. What we're going to look at though are the linear methods. So there is the XY only option, which to be honest, we never use because once you understand what the any direction method does, you don't need it. I'm going to use this example geometry I've put together to show the different options that appear with the any direction geometry method. I've hidden the trace and reference and I've zoomed in a little bit closer so you can see what's happening. So in the vast majority of cases when you're dimensioning in ARCHICAD and it's a nice regular linear building you typically would have points that are in alignment. So these two points, double click and when it comes to placement, I only have one option really. It's parallel to the two points and it's either above or below the line. So that's simple enough. If I do the same vertically between these two points, again, it's aligned, so it can only be left or right. So I'll take these back out and then we can look at what happens in the other cases, which is when you have points that are not aligned. So if I was to do this corner to this corner, when I double click, I suddenly get this thing appearing and if I'm not careful when I move the mouse in here, this is where people get nervous because suddenly the mouse is doing all sorts of things. But actually, if you move slowly and treat it methodically, it's quite easy to understand. So if I move just straight up from the dimension points, we can see a highlight on the preview circle here to show which sector is active. We're now placing this dimension in the x-axis. If we come across, it then shifts to work parallel to the two points that are placed. And if we keep coming round, we then can place in the y-axis aligned to the, the vertical component of these two points. The same is true if I keep moving around. You can see it switches between the horizontal, the vertical, the aligned, and it will keep doing that. A little secret to this is just to move further away from the center of this preview circle so you can see that I have to move further before it will actually switch between these different components but all the time the preview in the little circle shows which edge is active. The next part of this preview which can make it a bit wild sometimes is when the hammer is active if you move the mouse over any edge the dimension line will then act parallel to the edge that's highlighted. So I can move down here parallel to that edge across here parallel to that one and all the time it's actually jumping around and if you imagine in a busy drawing there's lots and lots of edges that the mouse may be jumping to. It works to any linear segment or element so it could be a slab edge, it could be a line, it could be anything really. However even though it does that it's not until you actually highlight and then click that it becomes locked to that angle and once it's locked I can then move through and click to place wherever is necessary. So another little tip, if you do have a busy drawing and I want to dimension the horizontal component of these two points, once I've double clicked, lots of things happen with the preview and if there's lots of detail and data around and underneath the mouse, it can be confusing, but just take the mouse to an edge parallel to that one and that's now locked down so I have full control and it will only place the horizontal dimension. So as I said, the secret is to move slowly around the preview circle and as with most things in ARCHICAD, it will only actually place the dimension line once you've clicked to remove the black hammer. And similar to a lot of things in ARCHICAD, you are looking at a preview so it does move around a lot, but it's only when you click that it actually commits and places the geometry.